Alright, I had a request for this one. This is for those of you who are new to Linux and want to try a distribution that has it all. Well, today we're looking at Ultimate Edition version 3 on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, this is the operating system to try if you're a beginner and you just gotta have it all. We are looking at Ultimate Edition. Now, this used to be based on Ubuntu, but this later latest flavor that was just recently released, 3.0, is based on Linux Mint 11, and it sports the GNOME 2 shell, and it's got a lot of really cool effects pre-configured on this puppy and uh, let me tell you uh, it is absolutely amazing how they uh, configured and designed this thing it's a really nice looking operating system it has so much stuff loaded into this a lot of people will argue that this is heavily bloated but the thing is I'm running this in a virtual machine and from what I'm seeing here this is actually quite responsive I'm surprised at how well it's actually performing so uh, that's always an added plus and there's a lot of really cool things that this comes with at the top of the screen here you're going to see that you have indicators uh, for various things you have your CPU your bandwidth um, I can't even read what the other ones are here we got the uh, let me see if it'll tell me what these are network overload and disk usage okay very good and um, then of course we have a power control the time you can change your audio preferences here it looks like this is the network preferences a uh, laptop battery this here is a really cool application called radio tray I used to use this until I found out found Pythos oh and they've got monster and death metal Oh, cool! I've got to get, I've got to get these. Uh, I got to grab the configuration file for this one so that I can get all the uh, really cool radio stations they have preloaded into this. And then they also have an RSS feed as well. There is just so much stuff in here. There's no way I'm going to cover this in the same amount of time that I normally do a review on. But uh, we'll, we'll go. Ahead, I'll go ahead and I'll show you some of the highlights of this. Uh, as quickly as I can. I'm really not going to cover places or system. Pretty much they're the same in any uh, Ubuntu based distribution. If you right click on your desktop and change desktop background, you are going to see you have tons and tons of wallpapers to choose from. And if that's not enough for you, there are Buku themes. I mean, they must have went on, they must have actually gone on to uh, the gnomelook.org website and downloaded literally everything. Now, this ISO image weighed in at uh, three and a half gigs, I think, and it took a long time to download. Look at all of these wallpapers that you get with this. Now, the layout that you're seeing right now is not the original one that it came with. I actually took some time and played with this yesterday. Actually, what I did was I filmed an episode on this, and I accidentally lost the film footage, so I'm doing it over again. Oh, let me have a look at this penguin here. We'll set that as the wallpaper. Oh, that is too cool. I like that. And you can see here that this already has Emerald pre-configured on this and the Compiz effects that I showed you earlier. Look at all of these themes. You have tons of them to choose from. One for uh, every taste and uh, it's really, I know the teenagers are absolutely going to love this. Uh, so all of you people who love the dark themes, they are here. 
and uh, in so many different styles as well. Uh, from eye candy to eyesore, it's all here. So definitely a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, even their previous, uh, even even from previous editions as well. Wow, I mean, a whole lot. Hey, it's almost Christmas, so why not go with a nice Christmassy theme on this? We'll go ahead and select that. Christmas 2010, and there you go, a nice Christmas theme. Well, why not Why not even uh, throw in a background that looks a little Christmassy for us? Uh, let's pick out one that's got a nice red or green background here. Oh, here we go. I think that looks a little bit Christmassy, maybe. I can't tell. Okay, well then, hi, why not stretch this out a bit? All right, very nice. Well, not so Christmassy, but um, it is what it is. I like it. It looks pretty cool. All right, now let's see what you get in terms of all of your applications here. Get ready for this. There are a lot, and I'm not even going to read all of them to you. You have a lot in terms of accessories here. Um, you get the Avant Window Navigator. I'm actually using that on my operating system, and that powers my bar that I have up on the top here. Uh, I, I think it's a wonderful replacement for the GNOME panel. You get a calculator, character, or map. Disk uses Janitalizer. If you want to have widgets, the G Desklets is already pre-installed. So all you have to do is just launch this bad boy and pick your widgets that you want. You have GNOME Do, Help, uh, K-File Replace. There's even screenlets here, so I mean, if the G desklets don't do it for you, screenlets will. And uh, you get a backup tool as well, terminal, the Terminator, uh, text editor, time and date, tomboy notes, virus scanner. All right, now in games, you got a ton of them. If you like logic games, there are plenty of them here, and there's also a uh, a lot more games. I'm not even going to bother reading through all of these. They also have a gamers edition of this available as well that has some 3D games and that sort of thing thrown in. But I mean, for the big download, you're sure getting a lot of stuff. And this is really great if you're new to Linux and you just want to try a little bit of everything without having to worry about going through the software center and downloading packages and that sort of thing. It's, it's all here for you. In graphics, Look at all of these tools you get. You get the Picasa, Acquire Images, Blender, Digicam. You get you get the GIMP. You get uh, F. I mean, all of these programs. I mean, so if one program doesn't really, you know, uh, suit your needs, you can try something else. It's all here. And in internet applications, wow! Look at all of the stuff that you get. You get AMSN. Check Gmail, Chromium Web Browsers pre-installed, Claws Mail, Dropbox, eLinks Web Browser. You've literally got two or three applications in this thing installed for everything you could possibly want to do. A lot of stuff here. And not only that, it, it actually booted up and uh, ran for me quite quickly. You get the LibreOffice suite and all the applications you could ever need for managing your finances. It's all here in Office. If you want to learn programming, here you go. Tons of programming softwares here. Stuff I would probably never really look at. But it's all here. In sound and very video, there we go again. And this is a huge list, let me tell you. Uh, you get uh, Two Man DVD, Acid DVD, Acid Rip DVD Ripper, Audacious, Audacity, Audio CD Extractor, Banshee Media Player, Brazero Disc Burner, Cheese Webcam Booth, Clementine, Desktop Recorder, DVD, uh, Dragon Player, DVD Rip, DVD Styler, Easy Tag, Intagged, uh, Exile Music Player, Gnome M Player, that's the one I use. You get the Hydrogen Drum Machine, Fun Toy. And I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Wow. So if you've got a fast internet connection, you might want to download this and try it. In System Tools, you have 
tons of other goodies here. I see that they included Bleach Bit, my favorite tool that they have here. Back in time, I wonder what this is. Uh, oh, it's a simple backup system. Wonderful. Okay, maybe it's probably similar to what uh, I figured I'd click it and have a look at it. But yeah, all right. So you can make snapshots of your system and that sort of thing. So if you uh, go mucking about and you mess things up, maybe you can restore uh, back. Okay, very good. Let's see what else you get here in system tools. Uh, all right, you get Chirodoc with no open GL, Dolphin, DVD Disaster, uh, FS Lint. Some of this stuff, I would imagine, you know, hmm, this should go in. This isn't all categorized uh, as good as possible, but it is what it is. K3B for writing uh, discs. Hmm. I wonder why they didn't put that in uh, in the sound and video. Hmm? Okay. All right, and then you get uh, another backup. To look at all these backup tools you get. So if you end up messing this up, at least you got some toys to back up the system. Uh, there's several of them right here. You get the Ubuntu Tweak, you net bootin', and then Yaquake. And this is like the Quake that I have on my system, which is a drop-down terminal. And uh, they have that here. For and then, of course, you get Wine installed with this as well. Uh, I did not see Play on Linux installed, or did I? Yes, Play on Linux is installed here as well in the game section. However, you know, I've had a lot of really good luck. Uh, if you're wanting to run Windows applications and games, check out my tutorial on Wine and Vineyard. Uh, I happen to like that better than Play on Linux, but uh, they're here. Well, wow, what can I say? There is so much to see in this distribution. I wish I had more time that I could devote to actually going through uh, everything that is on here. It, Like I said, it is a large download, and I would recommend having a modern computer for this because it does have all of the you know, eye candy and special effects and that sort of thing. Uh, so I'd recommend at least two gigs of RAM and a uh, maybe a one and a half gig processor at minimum for this. All in all, this looks great. Uh, when this, The uh, Ultimate Edition was, uh, after I tried Linux Mint, I uh, looked at the Ultimate Edition and that was the 2.9 and I actually had that installed on my computer. I loved how it performed and I, there was one day I was actually sitting at a coffee shop and I was playing with all the comp his effects and I had people looking over my shoulder and they're like, wow, what is that? And I said, this is Linux, man! <laughs> <laughs> and they were quite surprised to see that. And then after this, I moved on to Zorin because uh, I liked how uh, Zorin looked and that sort of thing. So, all in all, this is definitely worth giving a shot if you have a fast internet connection. Um, there's something for everyone. If anything, you know, I like some of the themes in this. I might pull some of the themes from the wallpapers, you know, some of the configuration files off of this so that I can use it on my system. And, uh, and then pretty much, uh, you know, throw this, uh, throw this image into my archives for later use at another time. Well, if you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. You can also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, jump on my blog and shout me a coffee. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, fill out the form below. I'll be happy to answer you as quickly as I can. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.